Hello friends, welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about the specifications for voice signal transmission. And after that, we'll be talking about the even frame as well as T1 frame. And after that, we'll be talking about the hierarchy of even frame as well as T1 frame. So first of all, what is the specifications we require in the digital communication or for the transmission of the voice signal? We require some parameters to be fixed to make the uniform transmitters and receivers worldwide. So to make our process uniform, we are fixing some parameters. So who fixes this parameter? So these parameters are fixed by an international body, which is FCC. So what is FCC? It is Federal Communication Commission. So now we'll be talking about the digital communication and in digital communication, what specifications are made by the FCC. So first I'll be talking about the number of bits. So I have eight bits per slot. So when I'm talking about the digital communication, I have specified eight bits per slot and who specified it? FCC specified them. So now here, if I talk about N bits, so number of levels would be 2 raised to power n. I know this formula. The number of levels is equal to 2 raised to power n number of bits. So number of bits were 8. So 2 raised to power 8 is equal to 256. So now if I am talking about the maximum frequency of the voice signal, I know it is 3300 hertz. But the maximum frequency is taken as 4 kilohertz and according to that, what would be the sampling frequency? It will be twice of the maximum frequency, which is 8 kilohertz. So now, according to the 8 kilohertz sampling frequency, I'll be sampling my voice signal. So now, if I have FS is equal to 8 kilohertz, I know TS is equal to 1 upon FS, so sampling time will be equal to 125 microsecond. So now here I know the bit rate is equal to N into sampling frequency. So now what was my N? N was 8. What was the sampling frequency? It was also 8. So the bit rate is 64 kbps. So it's the ideal bit rate, which is 64 kbps. Now I'm talking about the pulse code modulation and here the bandwidth was greater than equal to RB by 2. So I'm taking it as equal to RB by 2, which is 32 kilohertz. So now I hope you understood all of the specifications. So these were not very difficult. So now coming to even frame and T1 frame. So even frame is used. You can remember it with the help of E is used for Europe. So it is used in UK, France and whatever is used in UK because India was also ruled by UK. So now here in India also we use E1 frame. So now coming to the T1 frame. T1 frame is used in Japan and US. So similarly I can say whatever was used in US it was followed by Japan. So Japan and US use T1 frame. So now what was the difference? So here, if I talk about one frame, so one frame has 32 slots and here in one frame I have 24 slots. So this is how I have denoted it. So now if I'm talking about time division multiplexing, you have seen my previous video. So here I, I was talking about frames. So here I have 32 frames and here I have 24 frames. But TS was fixed. Sampling time was fixed. What was TS? TS was 125 microsecond. So here I am sending 32 slots in 125 microseconds and here I am sending 24 slots in 125 microseconds. So now I know each slot contains 8 bits. So now here total bits per frame would be because here I have 8 bits, here I have 8 bits, up till here I have 8 bits. So total bits would be 8 into 32. So 32 into 8 it is equal to 256 bits. Similarly, if I talk about here in the T1 frame, I have 24 slots. So here again, I have 8 bits, 8 bits 
अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एट बिट्स सो टोटल बिट्स वुड बी ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू एट सो वन नाइनटी टू बिट्स आर देयर सो नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम हेयर आई हैड थर्टी टू स्लॉट्स एंड हेयर आई हैड ट्वेंटी फोर स्लॉट्स सो नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द सैम्पलिंग कॉम्यूटेटर सो हेयर यू कैन सी द कॉम्यूटेटर वॉज टेकिंग थर्टी टू टाइम्स द सैम्पल्ड फंक्शन सो हेयर द कॉम्यूटेटर मस्ट टेक द ट्वेंटी फोर सैम्पल्ड फंक्शन सो नाउ आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हर एरिकीज सो हेयर इफ आई क्लब द थर्टी टू इवन फ्रेम्स सो द थर्टी टू इवन फ्रेम विल मेक अ वन मल्टी फ्रेम सिमिलरली इफ आई क्लब थर्टी टू मल्टी फ्रेम आई बी हैविंग वन Even super frame. Similarly, here I'll be clubbing twenty-four T1 frames. So twenty-four T1 frame will be making one T1 multi frame, and twenty-four T1 multi frame will be making one T1 super frame. So here I'll be concluding my discussion. I hope you understood each one of the things which I have discussed in this video. So I'll be winding up my session here. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends. subscribe the channel and push the like button thank you